Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm bringing you guys another episode of the survival games on the MCSG servers or the MZ Gamer Network. Now today we are playing on MCSG and yeah, I kind of already just said that, but um, today we're playing on MCSG and hopefully we can have ourselves a good game this fine day. Let's get this guy. No, he got out in one try. No. And of course, I don't get out in one try. No, come back. I need your stuff. But yeah, today I want to give you guys a couple of tips for high school. Now, I know a lot, a lot, a lot of my past previous videos have been about school. And I do apologize for that. But um, I don't know. It's a very interesting topic. And I feel like some of these things can actually help you guys. So um, that's why I tell you. Um, okay, he is running. This guy does not want to die today. I can tell, I can tell that for a fact, so, alright, there we go, we got him, alright, sorry for those weird frame drops, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna give you guys, keep giving you guys some more tips for high school, so as many of you guys know, I just went into freshman year at this high school, the high school I've always talked about, that I talk about all the time, it doesn't need an explanation or what it is, I've made so many videos about it, so you can just go look at those if you really want to know what kind of high school I'm going to. Quick sum up, I just said I wasn't going to sum it up, but a quick sum up is just like you doing college classes in high school and I'm going to graduate with an associate's degree. That's all you really have to know about the school, but moving on. So as a high school, the first thing you got to do is get organized. Now, um, in middle school, you can sort of get by without being a very organized person and um, that doesn't work in high school. You have to be organized or you will not um, do well. So let's get this guy real quick. Hold on, I gotta focus. All right, we did get him. We did get him. Cool, cool, cool. So if you're not organized in high school, you will like, you won't fail, but you will have a really, really tough time. Now to elaborate that on, to elaborate that a bit, um, almost every teacher will give you homework in high school, not every day, so that's not that bad, but a lot of the teachers will give you homework throughout the week, maybe on different days, depending on what kind of scheduling you have. As for me, I have block scheduling, so I see four teachers this day, like math, theater, PE, and Spanish, and then the other four days I see my other classes, which is like the college class, um, uh, geometry, and stuff like that, so... Yeah, that's how that's how my scheduling at my school work. Um, your school might work a little differently if you went into high school this year. Um, congrats, you're at the same level as I. And if you're in eighth grade, well, I guess this can help you in the coming year. Or it's just stuff to look out for so bad stuff doesn't happen to you in high school because you never want that to happen. You never want to get um, stuff like that take you by surprise. So I'm here to try to help you out so it doesn't. Moving on here. Another thing that you have to do to keep in mind when you're going to high school is to um, keep in front of your homework. Now, if you're one person that never does homework, you're probably never going to do homework and you can still pass just the same, but it's going to be harder because homework, teachers usually like um, count less for it in high school, so it's not that big of a deal even if you don't do it. It's usually only about 10%, but um, if you're not a very good like student and you... Um, if you're not a very good student and you don't do well on like tests and quizzes and stuff then um you have to do the homework like the homework those extra 10 points it gives you like it's not even extra points it's 10 points of your grade like you can get a 90 if you get 100 on everything and don't turn in any homework that's if you get 100 on everything and we all know that nobody can really do that so yeah um don't don't bank on it don't bank on not doing any of your homework it's not a good thing keep in front of your homework um study for tests like maybe I'm not saying like people tell you all the time to study and study and studying is really boring i do understand that but with these tests the tests get a lot harder um in high school so not a lot harder but maybe the stuff the curriculum that you get it's a pretty it gets a bit more intensive in high school like with any year but i don't know something about high school it's just like ah it got like that much harder so um yeah make sure to keep in front of your homework study for your test now maybe if you put like 30 minutes down two days before the test like a day before the test maybe study an hour 
I mean, not an hour, but like 30 minutes, good 30 minutes studying, like actually not just reading it. Don't just read over your notes. Whoever says that reading over your notes is studying, that was the biggest lie of all time. When you read over your notes, you can read over anything and um, not get the material. You actually have to like put time and effort towards studying it. And um, it might be kind of hard because it's going to be kind of boring, but you're just going to have to you're just gonna have to force through it and hope you can get through it because you need those grades so we've got this guy right here and i decided to do a solo sg today because i didn't feel like stressing for a normal sg and i do have to get off the computer soon because i still get off two hours every single day so yeah let's keep on going let's keep on trucking guys all right <laughs> so that's really about it keep ahead of your workload um, that's the term that they use the workload because as soon as you fall behind in a class like oh I'll do the homework tomorrow um, the then the next day that class another class gives you homework that's due the same day so you have double the work to do instead instead of going home and like um, chilling out I mean you can go home and chill out that's what I do I go home watch YouTube videos for like two hours get started on homework and stuff then I chill out for the rest of the time um, you can be like me and do that a lot of people say not to do that but I'm pretty good at it and that's how I've always done it. It's the most uh, calming and serene for me. So that's how I figure stuff like that. And um, yeah, let's try to have a good death match here. I don't think I'm gonna have time to eat another gapple, so might as well eat that one. Um, what does this guy have? Okay, he seems to have pretty decent stuff. Three, two, one. All right, we got two bow shots. Oh, I don't have very many arrows. Probably gonna have to sword rush here. Oh, that guy looked suspicious. Hmm. Not sure if that was kill aura, but he wasn't taking any knockback, it didn't look like. And if he had really good kill aura, he would have just hit me up here and I would have died, but I don't know about that. That looked really suspicious, though, I'm not gonna lie. But nevertheless, if you guys did enjoy this episode of SG, even though it was solo SG, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll get a regular SG game next episode. But I just want to talk a few couple of quick tips for you guys, and I hope they will help you. Like, most of these apply to 8th grade, but 8th grade is not as bad as high school. Make sure to turn your work in when it's due, projects especially. You might think, oh yeah, I can turn this project 2 days late and get an 80 because they take 20 points off, but that's if you get a perfect score, and most people, um... They'll get 80s on projects and then they turn it in two days late so that means they get a 60 on it and that's really bad because project grades count for a lot turn your homework in because you don't get another um don't get at least in my high school you don't get another day to turn it in the day the homework's due is when it's due and if you don't turn it in that day well it's a zero so i don't know high school it's pretty fun because they give you a lot of freedom but it's it's a lot of work just as any school would be so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to go ahead and hit that like button down below this was charizard x youtube and i'll see you guys in the next episode later